हेलो एवरीबाडी दिस इज निशी हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर आईकन स्काउट 3D सीरीज इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न हाउ टू कस्टमाइज अ 3D एसेट इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट्स कलर एंड मटेरियल प्रॉपर्टीज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कुड रेंडर आउट द सेम एसेट बट फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट एंगल दिस इज द एसेट फाइल दैट वी हैड डाउनलोडेड एंड यूज्ड इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड दिस इज व्हाट आवर फाइनल एक्सपोर्ट लुक लाइक Now let's say that you want to export the same asset but maybe you want to view it a little bit from the side maybe you don't want such a bang on frontal view in that case let me just move around in my viewport and find an angle that i like in order to move around just use your middle mouse button to move about freely shift and the middle mouse button to pan and your scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out you can do the same by using these icons here on the right as well the gizmo will allow you to move about freely The magnifying glass icon will allow you to zoom in and zoom out and you can use the hand icon to pan. Perfect. I think this works really well for me. Let's just render this out and see what happens. As our image gets rendered out, you can see that the final render is still exactly the same as our previous one and the angle hasn't even changed a little bit. This is because we just moved about in our viewport and we haven't really changed our camera angle. Unlike our usual 2D softwares that we use, we don't get an export of the view that we currently see, but we have to communicate with Blender and tell it exactly which view to export from, and that is done by using a camera. The camera angle that we set becomes the view of our final render or our final export. Now let me show you how we can do that. But before proceeding, I think we should see what our current camera angle looks like as well, and we can do that by clicking on this camera icon right here. Now this is what our current camera angle looks like and if you remember this is exactly what our previous render looked like as well In order to get out of this view you could simply move around in your viewport or just click back on the same icon You can also do this by hitting 0 on your keyboard This will allow you to toggle between your camera and your perspective view If you are unable to view your camera angle by hitting 0 then there is a small setting that you need to tweak and this setting will be extremely important for you if you want to view your asset from different view points and different angles using shortcuts only In order to do this just go to edit and say preferences In the preferences window navigate to input and make sure that the emulate numpad button has been checked on This button allows you to use your number keys on your keyboard to swap between different views. Once you're done with this, just make sure that you save your preferences. And you can do that by clicking on this little button here in the bottom left and say save preferences. If your auto save preferences button has been checked on, you can skip this step. Saving your preferences is an important step so that you don't have to repeat all these steps once again every time you open Blender. Perfect. Now that this is out of the way, let us see how we can use our brand new shortcuts. Press the number key 1 to view your object from the front view. Use the number key 3 to view it from the right. And the number key 7 to view it from the top. If you want to view the opposite side of any angle, just hit number 9. For example, if you are looking at your object from the right view, simply hit 9 to view it from the left. The number key 5 will allow you to toggle between your perspective and your orthographic views. You can do all of this by using the gizmo here on the right as well. Just click on any of these axes to swap between different views. And of course, do not forget the shortcut key 0 to view your object from your camera angle. The most important shortcut for us in this video. Okay, so now finally back to changing our camera angle. Now let me tell you that there are multiple ways of doing this but I'm going to show you the one that I find the easiest. This is the default camera angle that has been set up in our asset file. Let us quickly have a look at our scene from the top view as well so we get an idea of where our camera has been positioned with respect to our object. This triangle here in front of our asset is the camera. Now in order to change the camera angle it is obvious that we are going to have to change the location and the position of our camera and we can do that by selecting the camera and using the move tool 
Now I'm just going to drag out the camera a little towards the right and see what it does to our composition. Now when we view our object from the camera angle, you can see that our composition is completely haywire. When we render this image out, most of our image is going to be blank with just parts of our asset visible through the left. And this is definitely not what we would want our final render to look like. So I'm going to go back to our top view and hit Ctrl Z or Command Z to undo the change in the location and position of our camera. Now let's go back to our camera view and we can see that our original composition has been restored. So I guess moving our camera arbitrarily with having no control over what our final composition would look like may not be the best idea. So instead, what we are going to do now is we are going to view our object through the lens of our camera and then position our camera in such a way that we have full control over what our final composition would look like. This is actually very similar to how you would photograph an object in the real life. In order to change the angle, we will have to use this panel here on the right. But currently the panel is not visible. To see the panel, we could either click on this arrow icon here on the right or simply hit N on our keyboard. Once the panel is visible, just go to view and check the option lock camera to view under the view lock section. We can see that a red border just appeared around our composition. This means that our camera is now active. We are now viewing our object through the lens of our camera. And as we move around in our viewport, we are adjusting the position of our camera till we find an angle we like. And this becomes a new camera angle. And just a quick reminder to be able to move about in the viewport, you can always use your middle mouse button to move around, shift and the middle mouse button to pan and your scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Of course, you can do all of this using the icons here on the right as well. Once you're happy with your new composition, just make sure that you turn this option off. Please note that this is an extremely important step. If you miss this, your camera will remain active and the view will keep changing every time you move around in the viewport. Now let's go back and recheck our camera view by pressing 0. Perfect. And that's it. It's that simple. All you have to do now is just render this out. Once your render is done, just make sure that you save it. I'm now going to repeat the same process and get a render from the other side as well. Perfect! I now have three renders of the same asset in different angles. And that's it for this video guys. Stay tuned for more videos like this. In the next video, I will show you how you can combine different assets to create a full composition in Blender. This is Nishi signing off. Thank you and have a fantastic day ahead.